Hey there everybody, Joe here. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm showing you my almost finished mural. Let me get out of the way there. And, you know, I still need to, I still want to work on the water. I've got, you know, I've been trying so many different techniques with this water. Trying to do it better than, better than ever. You know, as always, I can never just do it like the last job. You know, I want to clean up those edges where it suddenly moves from the reflection to the underwater color. But, you know, it's, it's getting pretty far along. And I added some colorful little flowers and there's some yellow columbines and a lot of little details. And I thought it'd be fun to talk about real quick. I'm getting rained out on the job here. There's rain falling, I gotta go home. But, but it was fun doing this, you know. I was, I was really focusing on the uh, faces of the waves rather than the, the typical back side of the waves where the reflection is. So when I'm painting the face of a wave, you know, the, the underwater color appears on the face and then it typically will gradually start to change to sky color because that's, that's, the, first, that's the first reflection color that the angles point toward when a wave is rolling backwards. So you'll have a gray color surrounding the face of the wave and then you'll have the sharp edges of whatever objects are on the horizon or whatever bushes are hanging over. You'll, that's what these sharp edges are. So I started with the dark reflection color. That was a combination of maybe my green bushes, dark shadows, and whatever color I want under my water. So I just have this, this deeper greenish brown color. And then, and then I just did the faces of the waves in, in a ripple pattern starting with the gray that represents blue sky reflecting on brown color, it makes a gray. And then put my details, I kind of used a gradient and faded the details into the middle of those waves. So that was a fun strategy to, to put these, these little ripple patterns in here. And, you know, then I, I think this, this mural, it was, it was fun to uh, put different kinds of lighting it. It's a big mural and, and it has a good feel to it with all the different lighting effects. You know, there's there's two different kinds of, of light and shadow that, you know, I think are worth talking about. And there's soft shadows, you know, where you just have kind of blurry uh, edges between the light and the shadow. And I try to include both in paintings because it's, you know, it's real interesting to look at that way. So in here I start with the soft shadows. Now the difference between, you know, a soft shadow and the sharp edges that you get, like when, when the sun shines on your back and you see your, the sharp edge of your shadow on the ground, the difference between those is literally just the size of the light source. So the sun comes from just this bright little dot in the sky. And so it comes from one angle. And because it only comes from one angle, you have sharp edges. So, you know, in order to get that look, I make sure that the separation between my light and shadow are, you know, have some sharp lines, like that rock right there that I did early in the, in the painting. You know, you can see I have that sharp line, but, but then there's still light and shadow in the dark area. So that's not the only light and shadow represented in the picture. That's just the sunlight, uh, but then I have the light from the sky. So the skylight doesn't just come from one angle, it comes from all around. And that's, that's the very reason that it has that soft gradient that I was talking about just a minute ago on the faces of the waves also, uh, because it's coming from all of those different angles. So anyway, I gotta go, it's raining on me. <laughs> but those are, those are the things that really stick out to me as I'm wrapping this up. Uh, things that I thought were good highlights on this picture, the use of those two things, painting the faces of those ripples, getting those different kinds of lighting in there.
Ben, my brother, has been working hard on getting the new how to paint a beach wave with acrylics ready. And so uh, by next weekend, I'm pretty sure we'll have that up and ready to go. And so you can still get that, uh, pre-order that for half price, $15. When it goes up, I'm gonna price it at 30. So we'll see you next time. And as always, thanks for watching.